This time on A Moment of Science, how's your fastball? A Moment of Science. Pop quiz. You have a flat table and two billiard balls. You and your strong-armed friend each roll one of the balls off the table so they pass the edge at the same time. Only his ball is traveling much faster than yours. Which one hits the ground first? Like most of our questions here on A Moment of Science, it's of course not what you'd expect. The two balls will hit at the exact same time, no matter how great the difference in rolling speeds. It's one of the perennial stumpers of physics classes that, provided they both pass over the edge simultaneously, both balls will land at exactly the same time. In fact, no matter how fast the fast ball is moving, it will still fall at the same speed as the ball that just meanders over the edge. Yes, even if the fast ball is fired out of a cannon, this will still hold true. The reason is that horizontal motion is in no way affected by vertical motion. Gravity acts on both the fastball and the slow ball with the same force at all times. So while the fastball lands much farther away, it doesn't get to spend any more time in the air than the slow ball. In fact, the only thing that will make a difference in the landing times of the two balls is the curvature of the Earth. If the fastball moves so fast that it's able to get past the point where the ground starts to drop away significantly underneath it, it will then indeed spend a longer time falling, but only because it will now have a greater distance to fall. And if you can generate the kind of energy required to produce this effect, you've just succeeded in putting your fastball into orbit. I'm Mandy Strife, and this has been A Moment of Science. <laughs> Science! For more interesting science facts, visit our website at amomentofscience.org.